Hello wine people, do you know what is the role of, of oxygen in winemaking and maturation and that there is two different approaches how oxygen is used in winemaking? Oxygen is a gas that reacts with wine during winemaking and maturation and the process of contact of oxygen with wine is called oxidation. This process of oxidation sometimes can be positive, sometimes negative. There's two ends of the spectrum how oxygen is managed in the winery. From one side, you have the modern, very scientific driven uh, winemaking process where the winemaker has a very particular, precise style of wine that he wants to produce. So in order to do that, he's controlling the contact of oxygen and wine at every single stage of the winemaking process. On the other hand, you have winemakers that have a more hands-off approach, they're still following the progress of the wine during the winemaking process, but they want to produce a wine with the least amount of intervention from their side. Of course, with this kind of approach, you're going to get a totally different style of wine compared to a more scientific anaerobic winemaking. Anaerobic winemaking means that the winemaker wants minimum amount of oxygen in contact with the grapes and wine. Things that can be done starting from the vineyard. Grapes are going to be picked at night. When the temperatures are cool, grapes are going to be treated with sulfur dioxide. When the grapes come to the winery, they're going to be chilled. Low temperature slows down the oxidation and sulfur dioxide protects wines from oxygen. When the grapes reach the winery, all the equipment will be flushed with nitrogen or carbon dioxide in order to remove any oxygen. The wine will ferment at low temperatures and when it's stored, it's going to be stored in airtight vessels that are going to be filled to the top so there's no contact with oxygen. Some will say that this kind of protective winemaking will, will produce simple and uninteresting wines. Opposite of anaerobic is aerobic. It means that the wine will have contact in ox with oxygen, but in a controlled way. This usually happens when the wines are aging in oak. Oak is a watertight vessel, but it is not an airtight vessel. The size of the oak, the amount of time the wine spends in the oak will have effect of this micro oxidation. Also, for some wines like Towny Ports and Oloroso Sherries, oxidation is even more encouraged because the barrels are not completely full and it allows more oxygen to enter into the wine. Wine people, let's simplify wine together. Stay thirsty and wise.